Okay, um, so welcome back. We're working on the tune What's Going On by Marvin Gaye, and I'm attempting to um, play the bass in the style of James Jameson. Always um, a challenge. So, <clears throat> I've got a jazz bass. Um, kindly borrowing this from my very good friend Dowie Richards. Thank you, Dowie. And um, yeah, tried my bass, didn't really work. So, this one's kind of good. I've got all the, all the tone. Um, rubbed off. I mean, it's as soft as I can get it. I've um, taken the, the passive out. I've cut my fingernails. I've done everything I can to get. So I don't want to hear any any clickiness in there at all. If I can help it. You know, quite often playing these bass lines, it's even good to use your thumb. So um, that's the trick with this, to, to just get everything on the bass as flat as you can, put in passive obviously, and, um, and off we go. <coughs> oh, I've just been offered some chocolate. Um, can I have some? Yeah. Mm, thank you. Thank you, Judith. Mm. My director has uh, just offered me some chocolate. That's good. Um, so two chords, um, E major 7, and then go to the C sharp on and then we um, are going to the F sharp minor and then to B and you know the, the, the changes in the tune are pretty straightforward. Um, Did a gig last night and came back. I'd already tracked the fretted bass. Um, was really happy with it. Um, like transcribed the line, it was all sounding good. Got back from the gig, had a glass of wine, and just thought, mm, I don't know. Let's just try the fretless. I've got a fretless knocking about here. Um, a Fender Jazz fretless, no active again, just a straight up bass. Plugged it in and wham. I mean, it just sounded great. The detail and the vibe was incredible. So, um, yeah, with that, I had to redo the whole thing again. And, um, you know, obviously my intonation is not brilliant. I don't play a fretless very much these days. But even so, with a few tweaks, um, you know, on the computer, uh, which we'll go into in a minute, one thing and another, it was just worthwhile for the tone because... This thing just sounded the dog. So it sounded really, really good. So <clears throat> again, you know, this is what happened back in the day. People, I think nowadays people think, oh yeah, you just plug anything in and put a plug in and it'll be fine and we'll fix it. But you know, this is what happened. That's why there were so many great records from back then because people really did go the extra mile in terms of sort of inputting, you know, like, well, what about this? What about that? What about a sock? What about a pair of underpants? I mean, I even tried ramming a pair of underpants under that bridge last night. It's no success trying to get a real dead sound. So, you know, it's all these little experiments, tweaks that you do that are going to make the big difference in the end when you come to mix. And um, it's just going the extra mile, but real happy that I ended up doing a gig, came back quite sort of, um, you know, jumped up, quite a lot of energy and um, was here again till oh, late last night. Sock, bass and lots of soul. Yeah, good move. Happy with that. Okay, so we've got the bass line that we want. Um, two of them 
actually. Um, I initially went with the fretted bass yesterday morning and, and was quite happy with it if I just solo that. So, you know, it's got a great sound. In, in fact, in some ways, it might be truer to the original than, than the one I've ended up with. Um, Jameson used a, a fretted bass and, uh, you know, I got pretty close with that, with different with the plugins and everything. But uh, I did a gig last night, got back, and I just thought, oh no, I'm I'm just gonna get the fretless. Uh, a friend of mine's left one here, and I just got the sock out, put it in the back end of it, wound it up, and it sounded just inspirational, really, more than anything. I felt more comfortable with it. So the fretless. Um Just really good fundamentals in, in tone and, and bottom end, so and really clear, which was something I really liked. I could hear every single note, and you know, given the fact it's a great bass line, you want to hear everything in this, you don't want to leave anything out. So, what I do with bass lines is I will record them, I might do a couple of takes, and then I'll go through it and make slight adjustments. So, you know, you can see here that I might have rushed something slightly. Um, I'll pull it back, I'll nudge things this way, that way. So I'll just sit here and just groove with it and listen to it until it sits to my ear right in the pocket. So, and that goes for tuning as well. You know, I'll pick up um, notes and again, because it's a fretless instrument, if I want to um, change anything on the grid and just bring it in. You know, this is also tuned for bass, really, in a way. So uh, you can see that we can just use it like auto tune for a vocal, exactly the same thing. All right. So, you know, again, it's a, it's a gift, really, when it comes to playing a fretless instrument. Um, we can go through it like that. But my intonation was pretty good. I was quite impressed with myself last night. It was um, since I haven't played it for a long time. So I didn't have to do too much work on that front. However, um, <clears throat> timing-wise, it was good, but there was a, just a few things. I just pulled this way and that way um, to give it the right feel. So that's something I will do with every single part that I record, really. Um, that's a given. Okay, let's have a look at the strip. Uh, Plugin wise, I ended up using um, tape, Stephen Slate's tape emulation, which is great, and I uh, didn't squeeze it too hard, um, kind of low bias, just giving it a really, again, a bit of a more of a lo fi um, tape saturation. Then I used my Maserati um, plugin, which I use a lot for bass, it's just great, just nice and wide. Um, you know, I don't have many Waves plugins right now, but this is one that I keep coming back to. Um, real good, I like that one. And then I EQ'd it. I used the virtual channels, even that again, just to give it a little bit of a vibe. Um, I think I've got the Brit setting here. And you know, this is all subtle. There's nothing here that's radical. I mean, the, to be honest, the EQ on the 1073 here, I've you know, it's typical all, all along the way here. I'm, I'm rolling off top end. Uh, you can see I've done the same thing here. I've left the bottom. I haven't made any cuts. Um, I've squeezed the bass a little bit here, and I've nudged back some of the honkiness. So um, you can hear that's without the EQ. of the evening really was this. This is Stephen Slate's um, guitar emulation. So I thought, oh, I just need to age that bass a little bit. So I put it in an old theatre setting, which I think is kind of an old reverb, just tiny amount. I mean, I've hardly got anything on this mix. It'll go like 8%, but you probably won't hear it uh, on this iPhone speaker. But if I take it out, Right, but with it in, you just feel the room. It's almost got a room. Um, you, know, you can you can 
can feel that. So that's the strip at the moment. That could change at any point. Um, you know, and, and things like tape, and, you know, don't overdo it because I'm probably going to put that on the master bus anyway. Um, but I think it, this works really well on bass and, and, and drums. And uh, I've tried on vocals and I'm not, again, you know, you can overdo that. So let's stay in. Um, so there we have it. Um, two bass lines. I'm really going with the fretless bass with the sock and um, you know of the two if I play it just right from the, from the beginning that's the, uh, that's the fretless and then we've got the fretted uh, you know both have got their thing but the one that, that makes me It makes me happier is that one so right guys we're up we're done bass we're done uh, and that's what you know so just to cap everything I've now got uh, a bass line and I've got some drums uh, I'm gonna have to redo the drums again later but next up probably will be some keys just to put some um, chords in there get the thing moving a little bit on that front um, I've color coded this we, I know the arrangement pretty well now so that's all good um, okay, look forward to the next one. Cheers, guys.